stainless steel. It's a beautiful finish for an appliance, but sometimes there are indeed stains on stainless steel, like fingerprints or rust spots. And there are several reasons why this can happen. So rather than thinking of stainless steel as stainless, think of it as stain resistant. And in this video, we are going to talk about various ways that you can clean and maintain your stainless steel and deal with fingerprints, stains, and more. The good news is taking care of stainless steel is really easy. And the more you complicate it, the more you increase your risk of ruining it. Stainless steel has an invisible protective shield made from chromium oxide. That's probably more nerdy than we need to get. But what you need to know is that you can ruin that layer, that invisible protective layer, by using the wrong products or tools. So we're just gonna talk about how to do the right thing. And then if you have any issues, we're gonna talk about corrective measures. There are four key problems you will see with your stainless steel if not maintained correctly. The first, fingerprints. Second, rust. Third, scratches. And fourth, water stains. When choosing products to use to clean your stainless steel, I want you to keep it simple. So of course, I've got my super basic dish soap right here because that's what I use to clean my stainless. I put about a half teaspoon of dish soap in a spray bottle. I fill the rest with water, give it a little shake, and that is what I use to clean my stainless. Reason being, dish soap is a surfactant. It's going to lift dirt to the surface and make it easy to clean. If you're using an appropriate cleaning tool, like a flat weave microfiber cloth, this one's by Makers Clean, you're not gonna see any streaks. So that's a bonus as well. All right, we definitely marked up the front of the fridge just to really punctuate the point. And what I'm going to start with is just spraying from the top to the bottom this panel with my soapy water mixture. And I'll give it a little bit of time to work, but not too much. Soap and water is pretty pretty effective at what it does. Now I've got my cloth and I folded it into quarters, which is how the pros do it. And I'm going to use a technique called the S pattern. This is so that I cover the entirety of the panel without leaving streaks and without wasting energy. So the way it works is I start at one corner, I sweep my way over to the next, and then I kind of create an S like so. And what I'm doing here is, first of all, I'm working with the grain of the stainless steel, which is always what you wanna to do to avoid streaking. Second, you'll see I'm not missing a beat, right? I'm going corner to corner, edge to edge, and see, I'm not wasting any energy. I'm just doing my thing. I'm not working in aggressive circles, tiring my arm out. It's really the laziest approach and it gets you the best results. And if you wanna make sure that it's streak free, you can always just sort of stand at an angle, like what I'm doing here. The light will hit differently and I can assess for anything that's missed. But again, because I'm using the right technique and the right tool, there are no streaks. If your stainless steel has watermarks or you're noticing that there's more hard water staining on your stainless steel, those would look like invisible drip marks. You might wanna swap out some vinegar for about half of your water solution. And that's going to help deal with watermarks on a regular basis. Now, if you have heavy duty watermarks, what you might wanna do is coat a paper towel in some vinegar and just apply it straight onto the surface. Let it sit there for a few minutes. That's gonna help break down some of that mineral buildup. And then you can use this product right here that we made with dish soap and water, spray it on and wipe it away with a flat weave microfiber cloth. I don't have any watermarks on my dishwasher, but I'm still gonna demonstrate the technique for you because I care about you and I see you. So I've got my white vinegar right here and I'm gonna pour a little bit of it into a bowl, just about that much. Maybe that's a tablespoon or two. And I'm going to saturate paper towel in the vinegar. Like so. Now, vinegar is great at breaking down mineral deposits, which is why we are doing it this way. And then you're just gonna apply it like this onto the finish. And if I play my cards right, it should stick, lovely. So let's say I had a watermark under there. I'm just gonna let it sit for five, 10 minutes. It'll do its thing, it'll start to dry. And then when that's done, I can remove the paper towel, which should remove all of that buildup. Then I'll finish off by using the spray and wipe technique that I demonstrated on the fridge. And that should give the nice even finish. And of course, if I really wanna step it up, I can finish this off 
by putting the oil on there and giving it that beautiful factory ready shine. And just before we move on, if you are interested in one of these beautiful flat weave cloths, these are available at makerscleancom They are called our glass and electronics cloth. They come in a two pack and you can use the code YouTube10 to save 10% on your next purchase. I've got a link for you down below as well. Now, if you have rust stains on your fridge, little spots where that chromium oxide layer has come off, there are two ways that you can deal with that. First, you can use a little paste of baking soda and water. You can just gently use your finger in a very small circular motion to rub out that little spot. You wanna be gentle. Then you can rinse it, wipe it clean with a flat weave microfiber cloth. And then you wanna finish up by spraying product on and allowing it to sit for a minute and then wiping it down. If you notice that the rust stains are heavier, you might wanna level up to a product like Barkeeper's Friend. The name of the game with Barkeeper's Friend is to always keep the product wet. If you're using the powdered version, you've gotta make sure that you make a paste and you work quickly. Alternatively, you can look for the liquid version of this product and then you don't have to sweat it as much. Now to provide a nice consistent finish to your stainless steel, let's say you wanna give it a glow up, like a showroom floor glow up. What you can get is a little bottle of mineral oil. Now this is a little trick that they actually use in manufacturing facilities and showrooms to get their stainless steel shining. And it just gives that beautiful, consistent finish. What you wanna do is get a little piece of paper towel and put about a nickel size, or if you don't live in North America, like half an okay sign size, drop of mineral oil on the paper towel. And then you wanna rub it into the surface evenly. All right, so I've got my mineral oil here and I'm just gonna put kind of that nickel. Okay, it's getting a little bigger, but you know what I'm saying. A dab about that big. And I'm going to rub it in to this panel of the fridge. Again, using that same S pattern to initially apply the product. And then, then it's okay to use the buffing motion because you've got a buff in the oil and you want to get rid of any excess. Now, initially you'll see that it kind of looks like, hey, there's a bit of a thick layer of oil here. But once we rub it all in, much like when you do this on a cutting board, you'll see that you get a nice even finish. What's important here is again, that I'm working with the grain and that I didn't use too much oil because if we use too much oil, then we just have to work that much harder to buff it out. This is kind of like polishing a car. And once it's done, you have this beautiful, consistent finish that doesn't leave any fingerprints or streaks behind. This is like the finishing touch when you're cleaning your stainless steel and you just want to make it look absolutely perfect. This is what you do. When you're done this, you'll notice that your fridge might look a little bit darker, but it has that beautiful, glow. I can't stress enough the importance of choosing the right tools to do this job because if you use something that's abrasive or harsh, you are definitely going to scratch the stainless steel. Not only will you see scratches, but that can also lead to rust. So I'm talking eraser sponges, even your regular double-sided sponge. That scrubby side can cause scratches. You want to avoid anything like steel wool, even scrub brushes. We're even taking the extra precaution to not recommend using a Terry style microfiber cloth. This is our general purpose microfiber cloth because there could be a little piece of debris that's stuck in here that could potentially scratch the surface. That's the genius of using a flat weave microfiber cloth. These are flat, so they can't cling on to anything. Therefore, they can't leave any scratches, but they will leave you with a beautiful streak-free shine. Now there's another culprit that can scratch your stainless steel, particularly on your fridge, and that would be fridge magnets. So we are victim to this. We have magnets on our fridge. We put artwork up there. And if you look close, you can see scratches. The best way to deal with this is to get a stainless steel scratch repair kit. Try saying that three times fast. Now for me, I'm not so offended by these microscopic scratches that I'm running out to get one, but if your stainless steel has a scratch and it's bothering you, by all means, you can buy these online, simply follow the instructions and they will take care of the scratches. The other sort of damage you can see on your stainless steel would be those water stains. And you're most likely going to see those on your dishwasher, if it's right beside your sink, you're constantly splashing water on the front of your dishwasher, or if you have a fridge with a water dispenser and the water drips down, you might notice some water staining there as well. This is when you'll wanna use that vinegar paper towel soaking technique to really get rid of any of that buildup. 
This video has been sponsored by Makers Clean, which is kind of funny because it's a company that I own as well. It's our sister company to Clean My Space, and it's where we sell all of our premium cleaning tools, including microfiber cloths, spray bottles, and even some premium bath and beauty products. So you can go check out makersclean.com. You can also use the code YouTube10 at checkout where you can save 10% off your next purchase. We also have a great email list there where we're doing product drops, special sales, and more. So make sure that you get on that list as well. Now you know how to take care of your stainless steel like a pro and restore it back to that factory glow. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, are you a fan of the stainless steel appliance look in a kitchen? Or are you someone who prefers plain black, plain white, or maybe a custom cabinet with a beautiful custom handle. Let me know what makes your kitchen happy in the comments down below. For me, we had white appliances for a really long time, and then we were upgraded to stainless steel, and I have to say, it just makes the kitchen look that much more sleek. So I am a fan, even with the additional cleaning requirements, but I'd love to know what you think. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.